The first screen you see is the working screen. Here we can configure the setup we want. For example, we want the highest capacity of counterweight and we want the outriggers fully extended. Now we enter the values we want manually, but we can also use the rigging codes. Now it's on 1500, but when I switch to 1503, the values change. Let's put it back to 1500. Then press confirm. Now we're back in the working screen. So let's start setting up the crane. The first thing we want to do is move the boom up 40% so that we can turn and unlock the safety pin underneath the turntable. Now that the boom is up and the turntable is unlocked, we can rotate the crane. We turned 180 degrees and in this position we can lock the turntable again and we can pick up the counterweights. In the RCL setup we said we wanted 11.6 tons of counterweights, so now we'll pick them up. On the right hand side I can check the counterweight in the mirror and on the screen I can see in which position the cylinders are in and what I need to do. I'm going to ask Boom Configurator what to do. For example, the load is 12.5 meters away. I'll press Confirm and Boom Configurator can tell me what the most efficient way of lifting will be. And it will check if I'm even able to lift the load at all. Boom Configurator will give the advice, but we're still able to telescope fully automatically and semi-automatically. On the left you see three quick buttons, 0, 50 and 100%, with which you can set the length of all the booms at the same time. You can also fill out the values per boom section. When you do this and then press OK, the system will let you know if this is possible or not. When I fill in all boom sections with 100%, the check mark appears and I can start telescoping. The arrow on the screen indicates which direction the boom sections are going and the joystick tells you you have to move to do so. You can see the percentages the sections have been moved, where the twin lock system is. And when you're at 100% or the given value, the joystick will disappear to indicate that you are done. One of the options on the crane are cameras, and they can be shown on the display in split screen. When an error occurs, you can check the error in the menu. You can fix the error and then delete it. If you're not able to fix the error and there's something wrong with the crane, you'll have to call Crane Care and they will see the same screen.